guys, it is Aoife from Fred Weezy Diet Laughing. I just wanted to do a very quick video showing some genre specific recommendations for you for the Irish Readathon. So these are all Irish authors and I just wanted to really quickly just show you guys some examples of Irish authors in different genres. Um, if people were thinking about, about joining in this readathon and they didn't know who to read or what to read, um, I just thought I'd give you some ideas. So the first one is if you like just some historical fiction. I am recommending Colin Tobin. Obviously, Colin Tobin wrote uh, Brooklyn, and he also has a huge backlist of books that you could choose from as well. But Brooklyn is a really nice one to start off with. It's quiet, it's quite lovely, and um, it's very emotional. Well, for me as an Irish person, it's very emotional to read. Um, and I just think it's just one of those ones that could really resonate with some people. For short story collections, you could always pick up Tangleweed and Brian by Deirdre Sullivan. This is a fantastic fairy tale retelling story collection. It's a little bit flowery, so if you don't like flowery writing, it might not be for you. But if you do like flowery writing, and you do like to kind of think about different things um, and have kind of stories kind of nudge you with ideas but not give you the ideas yourself you kind of have to really mule them over and um, this one's a really really good one to read and um, there are some really really great ones in this that I just wanted a full novel on and um, but overall I really really enjoyed it and I would definitely recommend it for other people to check out some gritty dark YA fantasy I would go for The Call by Pader O'Gwillan this is a fantastic dark fae she story and um, it is absolutely horrifying it would actually almost border borderline horror book um i absolutely adored it the second book in this uh, trilogy i don't know if there's trilogy or series but the second one is called the invasion and it's actually out now so i'm going to be picking that up as soon as possible i wanted to get it tomorrow but unfortunately it is actually cancelled because of the snow so um yeah i can't get it yet but i'm going to be getting that one really really soon but this one is absolutely fantastic it will just have you on the edge of <sighs> so much emotions all the time it's absolutely brilliant do you want some really hard hitting stories um that focus on things that women struggle with um in modern day society i would pick up some louise o'neill and um, so this one is asking for it which is focused on a girl who is raped and it kind of focuses on victim blaming and rape culture um and slush shaming and stuff like that um this one in particular was a very hard one to read for me, um, but it is so powerful, so hard hitting. She has a new book coming out this month called Almost Love, which is about, I think, a woman's relationship with an older man and how women can tend to give up things, be expected to give up things for love, um, and how dangerous and possessive it can get, kind of thing. Um, so that one sounds amazing. She also has Only Ever Yours, which is about kind of the women the standard of beauty with women and how dangerous that can be and all our books are just amazing and make you think so much and make you angry and yeah they're just fabulous reads love them if you want some kind of women's fiction or women's adult contemporary books and um, i would both go for cecilia hearn or claudia carroll both of these um authors will give you just some really lovely romantic feel-good uh, novels uh, some some of cecilia hearns have a little bit of magical realism in them um but i would really really recommend both of these women because they are just lovely books ones that you can just sit down with and just fly through really quickly and it sucks you into the story and suck you into these relationships and have you shipping these characters really really hard um and yeah they're great another ya fantasy book um i would recommend is a anything by ruth francis long dove lynn series and um, which is about dark fairies again um and the she and this girl who kind of gets sucked into this world is part of this world without ever, ever really knowing how important she is to it um and yeah it, this one is really really good for people who like um something like the shadow hunter series um if you like that you will probably like this it's a little bit similar but yeah I, know, I really really enjoy this series. If you are looking for something that's more of a middle grade mystery type book um, I would go for Artemis Fell by Owen Colfer. This is also has fairies in it and this one is just so much fun and it's a really quick read as well because it is middle grade so it's short. This is also becoming a movie that's out next year I think um, and yeah this whole series is fantastic and I cannot recommend this more. If you're looking for a bit of a mystery that was also written by a celebrity um, there is Holding by Graham Norton, who is obviously the Graham Norton of um, the talk show. And this is set in kind of a sleepy Irish village in Cork. And it is about this kind of bumbling um, policeman. And uh, when a body is discovered um, in his town, he's trying to figure out what happened with it. And things get pretty interesting and secrets come out that have very, like, that have been hidden for a very very long time. If you're looking for a book that is in verse and um, The Space Between by Meg Grattan is really really fantastic. This has um, anxiety rep, mental illness rep and it also has um, talks about periods which you know I love. Um, so yeah this one is really great. This is one that you could literally just read in one evening. There are just some bits in this, some pages in this that are just so so powerful. Um, I think this one is just fantastic. So again this is a quick read written in verse so it's a little bit different. Um, 
really good. A middle grade feminist book, there is The Making of Molly by Anna Carey and she also has the second book which is Molly on the March and this is about a little girl in 1912 Dublin who decides she wants to be a suffragette. So it is just full of feminism and woman power and a little girl getting up to adventures um, and it's really fantastic. Liz Nugent is a really great Irish thriller writer. I've not read, the, read this one yet but I have read Unraveling Oliver which is a kind of domestic thriller about a man who's abusive towards his wife. He is pretty great writer and I would certainly recommend her books. And of course there's also Emma Donoghue and she writes a lot of different things. So Emma Donoghue has written Room which is also, uh, which is obviously um, also a film now um, and then she also has loads of different ones. I've also read Frog Music by her which is set in San Francisco and it's historical fiction um, and it also um, has some queer rep in that so that is really really good. There is this one The Seal Letter which I'm actually not too can't really remember what this one is about and I also have one somewhere in my pile of books beside me which is Astray by her too and I also have The Wonder which is set in Ireland which I'm hoping going to be reading during this readathon as well. Um, Astray is a short story collection about people who basically have just travelled across the world and nomads and um, immigrants and stuff like that um, which also sounds pretty fantastic but Emma Donoghue doesn't even have like I wouldn't say she even has a particular style she seems to just write a little bit about everything um, and all her books are really interesting and her characters are just so captivating so I would definitely recommend her as well. So hopefully there is something for everyone in this video um please let me know if you've read any of these guys if you recommend anyone else that i have not included um, and yeah just let me know all your thoughts down below i would love to know thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys again next time